This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Thank you, Squarespace. And I'll talk more about Squarespace at the end of the video. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan and today is going to be a weird, very short vlog, mostly because I started filming this What I Eat in a Day and I just got so caught up with work and I was just sort of busy that I didn't really eat like a proper meal. I didn't really cook much. I feel like sometimes this just happens to me and it's realistic of how I do eat sometimes. Not that I'm saying that it is the best way to eat. Not that I'm saying that you should eat like this, but I feel like there are just so many idealistic what I eat in a days and I'm just being real. This is just sometimes what happens. Sometimes I have time to bake four loaves of bread in a day. And then sometimes I just end up eating toast all day because that's just how life is sometimes. Should I be better? Of course. But you know, sometimes that's just not how life works. So today I'm having some sourdough toast. As you know, I've been making a lot of sourdough bread. So that's what I eat for breakfast pretty much every day lately. Two thick slices of sourdough bread, some vegan butter, and I'm balancing it out with some cucumbers and blueberries. And this was a very hydrating but delicious meal. And I'm also taking a multivitamin on the side. I actually end up taking three of these a day, but I don't record that every time because sometimes I forget. So for my very balanced lunch, heavy sarcasm on the balance. I'm having some veg cheese crackers and some of this TVP that is seasoned like with Szechuan spices. And Eddie just fried it with a bit of onions because that's what he was having for his lunch. And I had those leftovers. Now we're gonna go to the farmer's market because I feel like it. It's been a very long time since I went to the farmer's market um, and it's open. So that's why I'm wearing a mask and we're gonna go check it out and see what's going on. I even put eyebrows on today. Y'all, I haven't put on eyebrows in a hot minute. So I mismanaged my time. We ended up going towards the end of the day. This is around 3.30. The farmer's market closes at four. So things were a little uh, dead slash not really open. So that's fine. We went to the grocery store at Nations, which is the Asian grocery store there. And then I had an ice cap, which was pretty good. They didn't have any soy milk, even though they had told me they had soy milk. So I ended up having it black. So life hack for any of you who want a Tim Hortons ice cap with no dairy, just ask for it black. So for dinner, I had Eddie make us some Jamaican patties. So these are reheated Jamaican patties that are vegan. I get them at Zero Waste Bulk in Kitchener. You can also get them at Coven. They're usually wrapped in plastic, which is, you know, not ideal, but I get them at Bulk at Zero Waste Bulk. So I've ordered like eight or nine of them. That's how I have a bunch of them in the freezer without packaging, but they're really, really good. They're made here in Canada and they're black owned and amazing. So definitely try some of those patties if you haven't had them already. We usually get the spicy, spicy beefless one. It's my favorite and it is super good. So Eddie and I had two each and then I also had a V8 because you know, balance. Then for the rest of the night, I was testing this recipe that I'm doing for an ebook collab coming up soon. Hopefully it'll be out by the end of August, but that is if I don't totally mess it up. So this recipe was such a hot mess. I mean, it tasted good. So basically it is sweetened mung beans. I cooked them, sweetened them. I rolled them into balls and prepped them the day before and they were delicious. Then I started making the dough. Now, when I was researching how to make the dough, I've made a version of this, which is like like the savory version and it's just boiled. So there's like oil in the dough, but then I was seeing that some people put potato in it. Some people use tapioca. So I was like, you know what? Sometimes boiling a potato for this seems like a bit of a hassle. So I tried to make, you know, an easier version of it. Turns out that when you do that and then you fry it, they pop under pressure, I guess with steam and stuff in the oil. And that was very scary. And then I spent the next like two hours cleaning my entire kitchen, the stove. And then while we had the mop out, we decided to just mop the entire main floor and move all the furniture around. So so it was a very busy couple hours and I ended up eating like five or six of these because I was trying to like recipe test to see like if they were cooking all the way through. I tried air frying them. It was kind of a hectic day, but you know, that's just kind of the reality sometimes of my job when I'm recipe testing. So making this took like an hour and a half. So I think I ate maybe like five of them. They were very delicious. Plus mung bean protein, you know, it's like a little bit of dessert, but also protein and fiber, question mark. That was what I ate today. <laughs> Is it the healthiest? Probably not. But like, I don't really know other people who eat like super balanced every single day. That's just not sustainable to me necessarily. Like I just eat intuitively. I eat what I feel like. I cover most of my bases with a multivitamin. I also try to eat like whenever I feel like it. And I try to incorporate protein with every part of my meal. I feel like I ate okay, but you know, some days are just more balanced than others. And that's just, how life is. Before I end the video today, let me talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you've been mulling over starting a new website for your new business, your art, your restaurant, or even your blog, stop procrastinating and get started with Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible platform that has pre-made templates where you can drag, drop, and customize to create your own beautiful website. The templates are always mobile friendly and don't require any updates or complicated code. I used it for my wedding website and within hours, I had a beautiful website where I had people submit RZPs, I shared photos, we even put directions for our wedding. Everything was so easy and I was able to customize the 
look to just how I want it. So if you want to get started on Squarespace, go to squarespace.com slash vietvegan and use code vietvegan to get 10% off your first order. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. 